Adam and Rian were best friends, living in a small village called Brookfield. Their village lacked basic facilities, and since there was no river nearby, the villagers had to buy water from the city. Water tankers would come from the city, and the people had to wait in long queues to purchase water. Everyone was troubled by the situation, but they had no other choice. One day, while returning from fetching water, Adam and Rian passed the nearby forest. Rian said, We have never gone inside this forest. Adam quickly replied, Don't even think about it. This forest is full of snakes and poisonous spiders. That's why it's called the snake forest. People of the village say, whoever goes in never comes out. Rian didn't believe this story and decided that one day he would definitely explore the forest. Few days later, Rian came to Adam in a panic situation saying that his little sister, Lily, is missing but some villagers had seen her heading towards the forest. We have to go into the forest to find her, he begged. Reluctantly, Adam and Rian went to the forest to search for Lily. After walking a little, Rian started laughing. See, I brought you into the forest. There are no snakes here. He teased him. Adam was so angry, but he couldn't leave Rian alone in the forest now. Rian wanted to explore further. As he walked deeper, he saw a cave. Without thinking, Rian said, Let's go inside. Who knows? We might find treasure. Ignoring Adam's warnings, Rian entered the cave. When they went inside, a little more, they saw several snakes inside. Both of them ran as fast as they could, exiting through the other side of the cave. What they saw next left both of them speechless. A clear stream of water was flowing right in front of them. For them, this water was more valuable than gold. Adam excitedly said, Now our village's water problems will be solved. But Rian had other ideas. Why don't we keep this a secret and sell the water to the villagers? We can get rich. When Adam refused, an argument broke out between them. As they fought, Rian realized that Adam would never agree to keep the secret. He had to do something. Pretending to agree, Rian said, Okay, let's go tell the villagers. As they were leaving the forest, Rian spotted a poisonous spider that could paralyze anyone the moment it bite. With cunning, he placed the spider on Adam's shirt. The spider bit Adam on the neck and he immediately became unconscious. Rian carried Adam back to the village and told everyone that they had encountered huge snakes in the forest. Adam went to see the snakes and look at how he came back. Adam paralyzed from the spider's bite, wasn't able to move or speak. Rian borrowed some money from the village head, claiming he would buy water from the city. Instead, he secretly fetched water from the hidden stream in the forest and sold it to the villagers. Within a month, Rian had saved a lot of money and in a year, he became the wealthiest man in the village. However, the villagers became suspicious of that. How is Rian getting richer by just selling water? Is he overcharging us? One day, some villagers followed Rian and discovered he wasn't bringing water from the city, but from a hidden stream in the forest. He had been deceiving everyone. The village elders had a council to decide Rian's fate. They ruled that Rian had betrayed the village, so he would be allowed to stay. But no one would speak to him, invite him to gatherings, or associate with him in any way. Cut off from everyone. Rian's mental health began to deteriorate. Meanwhile, Adam was treated by a renowned healer from a neighboring village, and he slowly started to recover.